Experience assessment is a route into CIPD professional membership. It was introduced because there's a wealth of HR and LND practitioners who want the experience to be recognised by the CIPD. It's available to both individuals as well as organisations seeking to be benchmarked against international standards. Around the world, the CIPD has over 140,000 members. Over 50,000 hold charter status. All these individuals have demonstrated to us that they meet our rigorous standards in HR and L&D best practice. It really you know, sets out the kind of professional areas that you need to be developing. It spells out the um, key behaviours that's required of a HR leader. Well, I, I've been HR for quite some time and I always wondered whether what I do and uh, how I perform is, is meeting the expectations of a HR leader. And I find it a challenge for me to decide uh, am I on the right track? Uh, are there competencies which I need to, to, to better myself? Or uh, are there areas which I think I can improve upon or enhance my strength? And I thought that experience assessment would be a good opportunity to, to benchmark my capabilities and competencies in a larger HR community. I think it's a bit different from other HR accreditation programme. Uh, which is more uh, theory-based. Um, I find it actually quite uh, enriching and uh, meaningful because I get to um, apply and also reflect on my own abilities uh, and also share on something that I'm really passionate about. If you look at our past experiences or the memories of our past experiences, it is quite useful for us to look back, reflect, and discover new insights of what our professional experience will bear in terms of the future challenges that we may have to address. It's not just the qualification, I think it's the opportunity of uh, constantly validating myself against uh, the professional areas that's been identified as well as you know observing the key behaviours that's required of me as a HR leader. I think in the context of Singapore, you know, having it's like the gold standard to attain. At one level, it gives an information of what I'm doing today uh, is on the right track. At the same time, in undergoing the charter assessment, it gives me an insight on areas which I need to improve. And to me, that's very important because as, as a HR leader, there are always opportunities for me to upgrade myself. How can I be a better HR leader? How can I better serve my fellow HR colleagues as well as a larger organisation? Hmm, um, gaining the chartered membership um means a lot. I think uh, I, I didn't really think of that much when I embarked on the EA journey. But when I, I got it at the end of the journey, it, I, I felt that it was a validation of, of the work that I had done, you know. The process starts with an eligibility check with us to determine if this is the right route for you. Then there's a series of online assessments designed to capture your knowledge and experience, culminating in a face-to-face -face professional discussion with one of our assessors. The journey takes approximately four months. All participants will receive a feedback report from us and successful candidates will be awarded a professional grade of membership with the CIPD. For the experience assessment, we had to do a couple of things. Um, we had to do a case study and then, you know, that case study was really very comprehensive. It really you know, served to pull out everything you knew and everything you could apply. To undergo the experience assessment journey, um, it's quite daunting at, at the first glance because there's a case study to undertake, uh, to recollect what I've done for the past three years, and also to get my peers and my supervisors to make assessment of myself. And I think you asked me for that process alone, it's quite robust because it gives you an insight of how people look at you as a HR practitioner. I thought the three-hour discussion with my assessor was most enriching. It allowed us to share ideas, exchange views on best practices on HR and organisation development. And I learned a lot from uh, listening in to other perspectives of the same issues. The most challenging, I would say, is really the time management aspect because each of the component comes with a specific timeline. It's really about how do I um, work it into my busy schedules and yet being able to focus and do my best. CIPD gave us a lot of support you know, during the assessment journey. Um, 
it wasn't something I expected. I thought, you know, usually if you, you go by um, normal assessment routes or, you know, other organisations, they'll just leave you to it, you know, occasionally just ping you and say how you are, you know, that kind of thing. But um, I think CIPD actively took, you know, the, the, the opportunity to engage with us. I find the whole uh, online uh, tracking system quite useful. It gives me a sense of where I am, what I have done and what I need to do next. And the other aspect, if I can mention, is my fellow colleagues who went through the same experience assessment. We do meet up, we do discuss, and that, that camaraderie, the larger HR community, undergoing this assessment together, does help to build a more unified HR um, uh, community. CIPD GA is a very um, uh, strong and powerful tool, uh, and it's something for every HR leader to seriously consider. I mean, of course, you have your programs, your further education, all that. All those are needful. Um, but this is like something um, that is like a cherry on the cake. You know, it really pulls all the things that you have learned and have experienced and have applied and brought value all together and helps you to recall and uh, remember, reflect. It helps you to have a certain kind of mindfulness. So I'd say that for every HR leader, it's something that you should really consider as part of your portfolio. Three words on the journey, challenging, enriching and rewarding. I just want to thank PSD for giving us this opportunity to go through the experience assessments. Um, it's enriching uh, and it's a good experience for all of us, especially for me who has been in HR field for a long time. Uh, so it, it's an opportunity to uh, reflect on what I've done uh, and also kind of get some form of external benchmark uh, on my abilities. Thank you. The CIPD works with many organisations to build capability within HR teams, incorporating experience assessment within a broader framework of professional development programmes. For more information on experience assessment or the CIPD, visit our website or contact us via phone or email for more information. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.